let's talk a little bit about the audio montage mode. To do that, I'm actually going to make a brand new audio montage. So I'm going to come to the ribbon. I'm going to click on File here, and I'm going to go to New, and I'm going to click on Audio Montage, and then there are some properties that I need to set. In the mode, uh, we could choose Stereo CD Compatible, Multi-Channel for DVD Audio Compatible, or Multi-Channel for any configuration that you want. So I'm going to choose Stereo uh, CD Compatible, and I'm going to set the sample rate at 44.1 kilohertz because all of the audio material that I have uh, in this particular uh, file group is all 44.1, uh, which is what audio CDs are set to. So I'm going to hit the Create button and then zoom out here. Now, like I mentioned before, a file group can contain a whole bunch of audio files, and it can uh, contain audio montages as well. So you'll notice that that particular audio montage is uh, right here in the file group. That's nice to have it as part of the file group. So if you save that file group, it will save not only all the audio files that you're working on, but also all of the uh, audio montages as well as the settings in the master section and any batch processors you might have as well. Uh, now, uh, before I move on, there uh, is a question uh, uh, regarding the master rig looking very, very similar to Isotope Ozone. And that is absolutely true. Uh, if you, we were to look at master rig and then load up Ozone 7, which I have right here, Ozone uh, 7 is a mastering suite offered by a company called Isotope. It's not a plugin that comes with WaveLab. It's a third-party plugin. And a lot of the things are the same. You've got uh, modules down here, whereas in uh, Master Rig, the modules are in the top. You have things like multiband compressors. You have mastering limiters, equalizers, and dynamic equalizers. And they, they're very, very similar. Uh, as far as which one sounds better Ugh, that's a that's a tough one they both sound really really good uh, I think that ozone offers you uh, a few more things that the master rig doesn't uh, a, a, a few more flavors that uh, that the master rig doesn't have um, for example in the maximizer uh, you've got all of these different IRC modes, and those are for intelligent release control. The, this new one that they've made in Ozone 7, uh, IRC mode 4, is a really cool mastering limiter. So, so its basic flavor sounds really, really good. Uh, however, uh, what it doesn't have... Uh, that Master Rig has is in the transient emphasis, you do have one control for the transients uh, with uh, varying degrees. But Master Rig actually has transient control across three different frequency bands. So that's an advantage for, uh, for, for Master Rig that Ozone doesn't have. To me, all of these tools uh, offer you, like I say, different flavors. And, and, and that's the way I, I look at things. I never say one is better than the other because one may be better at one thing than the other. But you know, one thing is not all things. When you're mastering EDM uh, material, you may find uh, one particular plugin works better for that material than another, just as an example. So, so the way I look at these plugins is kind of the same way that a, that a craftsman looks at their tool belt. You know, you, you, you never hear a couple of plumbers arguing over, you know, uh, what's better, a monkey wrench or a uh, crescent wrench? Oh, man, the crescent wrench is better. No, it's not. The monkey wrench is always going to be better. You, know, you just never really hear that because each of those tools does a different job. And that's the best way to look at plugins or any sort of mastering processors, whether they're plugin based like you'd use in WaveLab or whether they are hardware based. Because there's some great hardware based uh, mastering processors, too, and they can integrate into WaveLab very, very easily as well. Uh, so the way to look at it is that you've got different tools for different jobs. The real determination of which one you use is going to depend mainly on your ears. And really, if you come away with anything from today's class, I, I, I want to emphasize that your ears are the final judge. 
not what uh, one person says, not what one magazine says, not what your favorite mastering uh, uh, engineer says. It's what your ears say. That's what really, really matters. So your ears are always going to make that final determination. And the beautiful part about WaveLab is that now that it has that master rig in there, it gives you tons and tons of different options for different mastering processes, and you don't have to buy them from a third party. If there were some specific things in Ozone that you wanted to use, then you can use Ozone inside of WaveLab. It's very, very open architecture as far as that goes, uh, because you can use any plugins. One other thing I do want to do really fast, uh, we, we, um, I'm going to show you more about mid-side processing here uh, when we start to work in the audio montage mode. But as I mentioned before, you can use any plugin that you already own as a mid-side processor and it doesn't have to even be mid-side compatible. <laughs> it's really cool. So what I'm going to do is right-click and remove the uh, ozone because we're not going to be using ozone. 